Okay. So, let's continue our lessons. So, makita natin dito yung green side na to. Ayan. So, yung they are all in the green circle because these are the sets of hound, by cow, key, and fish. So, hound, by cow, key, and fish. Itong red na to, which is yung represents ay B, kasi subset siya ng A. Kasi nga, meron tayong cow, key, and fish, na which is meron din sa, sa sets ng A. So, kaya sinabi niya, B is subset of A. So, B is a subset of A. Ayan, nakita mo dyan. So, pag sinabi ng proper subset of A, of a set, is which has at least one uncommon element from each first set. So, proper subset, a set A is said to be a proper subset of set B. If, they are, if every element or element of A is an element of B and has a teeth one element which is not an element of A. So it can be written as A proper subset of B. For example, look at the monitor. So we have let A is a set of 1, 2, 3 and then B is a set of 2, 3, 4, 1, and 5. <clears throat> then A is proper subset of B. Kasi nga lang naman, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Thus, if A is a proper subset of B, then there exists an element of A B. So, such that X is not an element of A. Diba? Kasi nga, oh, yung B kasi may 4 and 5, yung A, wala naman, diba? And so, another example, so, sets of 1, proper subset of 1, 2, 3, yan, of sets, but 1 and 4 is not a proper subset, improper subset of 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. So, the differences of sets. So, pag ginag universal set na to, yung A minus B, B minus A. So, makita mo to, itong shaded ay yung B. Sa kabila naman, ang shaded ay yung A. Diba? So, the complement of a set. So, the complement of a set a is defined as the set of elements that are contained in uni universal set, but not contained in a set A. The symbolism and notation for the complement of set A are, so pag nakita mo diba, ito yung ating rectangular or rectangle represent the universe, parang ganun. So nakita mo naman yung, yung A prime or yung A complement of A, complement of A, yun yung shaded area ng sets of A. Diba? So, diniscuss na natin ito, diba? Yung Venn diagram na yan. So, dito sila nagkaroon ng intersection lahat sa 2. O, paano may union of sets? So, the union of two sets A and B is the set of all elements formed by combining all the elements of set A and the elements of set B into this one set. This is written at A Union of B. So in the uh, Venn diagram of on the left, the union of A and B is the entire region shaded. Yeah. Diba? So ito yung unit ng empty set, unit ng universal set. Diba? So these are the properties of the union operation. We have identity law, domination law, in the impotent law, commutative law, associative law. So, for the intersection, so, which is, ito yung symbol ng intersection yan. Yan, this one. So, the interse intersection of two sets, A and B, is the set of all elements that are common to both A and B. So, kanina, di ba, pag nakita natin kanina doon, yung two. Sa kanina, example natin. So, sa Venn diagram. So, ito yun, intersection nila. Yan. So, pag nakita mo, ito yung intersection nila. Yung 2, 4, 6. Diba? Pero pag inayos mo ang A is a union of B, yung sets niya, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 12. 
So, ayan yun, di ba? So, paano naman disjoint sets A and C? So, makita natin ito, ha? Ito yung example ng 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9. Pero pag sa universe, check natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, yan. Sa universe, set na yan. Sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Pero yung C is has 8 and 10. And then, A is uh, has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, then, set of A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then set of C, 8 and 10. No common elements. And set A and and our disjoint set. Ganon. Ayan o. Ito yung universe na yun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10. Diba? And then, disjoint set. So, two sets are called disjoint if their intersection is the absolute empty set. So, take that. A is intersection of B is equal to empty set. So, 1, 2, 3, and 3, 4, 5 are not disjoint. Bakit? Kasi may 3 and 3 doon, di ba? Pero A, B, and 3, 4 are disjoint. Kasi nga, wala naman dito at dito. And then 1 and 2 are disjoint. So, empty set and empty set are disjoint. So, tina-check natin to ha. So, ito yung universal set natin. So, ayan yung set A, set B. Tignan natin kung magkakaroon siya ng 0. So, B, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Ah, dito yung 5. Kasi wala siya dito sa dalawa. So, 5, 6, and 7. And dito yan. 8, 9. And dito. Ayan. So, are these joints? Ayan. Diba? Nakita nyo yung ano ginawa. Next, nothing in common, di ba? Wala sila dito. So, A is A inter, uh, intersection of B. Yan. Empty set. Wala. So, state whether each of the following state statement is true or false. Justify your answer. So, sets of 2, 3, 4, 5, and 3, and 6 are disjoint sets. So, ano sa palagay nyo? Kung sagot nyo ang true, eh, mali kayo. Kasi it's a false. Yan. Bakit? Kasi yan, pag chinek mo, may 3 dito, may 3. So, di ba? Um, nagkaroon siya, meron siya intersection. Yan, which is 3. Yan. Di ba? O, next question. O, dito. Another false again. Kasi nga, yan o, nakita yung A na yan, yan o. So, doon siya magkakaroon ng intersection. Ayan, A. Ayan. So, uh, next sample. 2, 6, 10, 14, 3, 7, 11. Pag nakita mo na, ay, it's a true. Di ba? O, kasi nga, 2, 6, 10, wala naman, di ba? Wala silang intersection. Kaya yan. Uh, next, 2, 6, 10, 3, 7, 11. Di mas lalong wala, di ba? Oh, so, alam natin, true. Ayan. Ayan. Di ba? Di ba? So, I hope na naintindihan nyo aking mga samples. So, salamat. Ciao!